Hello, my name's Rigel, and welcome to Thermopolis, Wyoming. I'd like to introduce my friend, Linda. Hi, we're students from the Olathe North Geoscience Program. Um, we're here at the Morrison Formation in um, the CB, which means Cheryl's Blind Quarry, um, digging for fossils um, from the Jurassic period. <laughs> um, they're about 155 million years old. Um, we use a ton of tools to excavate them, and my friend Ben will tell you all about them. Hi, I'm Ben from Tool Time with Ben. This is an oyster knife. What we do with this is we put this in the rock, as so, and we have to neatly scrape it off, and then you use the paintbrush to get all the excess debris off, and then you place it in the bucket, and then you clean up your area, like so. Put it in the bucket, and when the bucket is full, like this, you bring it over, the wheelbarrow. And here's my friend Tatum. Okay, so when we're digging for bones, we always start at the top and work to the bottom because we don't want the bones to be covered up as we work down. And then also we don't want to create caves because we don't want the rock to concave and hurt the bones. And this is my friend Nathan. Hey, so... In this section, in CB, you mainly find allosaurus bones, but throughout this dinosaur excavation site, all of them, you find Apatosaurus, Diplodocus, Diplodocus, and Camarasaurus. So, basically, we are finding all of these in sedimentary rocks from made from shale and limestone. So we think that they were buried here because of a mudslide that originated from up there. And it covered up the two allosaurus that we're looking at. So the bones are black. This is due to the moisture in the rocks, but the actual dinosaur bones, like that one, are pretty dark, so it's somewhat easy to pick them out. But right now we got some more work to do, so see, see you later. next year.